Hey guys, take control of the video for you guys. In today's video, we're gonna show you how to fix the home app if it's not working on your iPhone, whether the app isn't opening or you can't add certain accessories or the functionality isn't working or simply or it's just giving you trouble. We're gonna go through the basic troubleshooting steps to resolve that issue for you on your iPhone. So let's get started. So whenever you're having issues with the home app, one of the very first thing is that you wanna ensure that you have internet connectivity. In order to check that, what I like to do is pull down the control menu here, turn on airplane mode briefly, and then turn it back off. And what it does is a quick network refresh. So if you had any issues with any connectivity, issues around with the cellular, to connection or Wi-Fi connection it will resolve that issue for you and also you can go to the browser and look for I uh, basically just want to make sure that you can access stuff on your phone just like that so that you have internet now after you have done that the next thing you want to check out on your phone is that you're going to try to do a forced restart of uh, the app, the phone itself so in order to do a forced restart what I like to do is press and release the volume up, press and release the volume down, and then you'll hold the side button just like that. So it's volume up followed by volume down and then the side button here. You're gonna wait until the screen goes completely black before you release that side button. So we're gonna wait till it goes completely black and then Apple logo reappears. We'll let go of that button. And what we have done is completely shut down the phone and reloaded the code. Now this method will not delete any of your personal data. So all of your photos, videos, apps will still be there. And again, this is a nice way to fix any sort of software related issue on your iPhone. And hopefully by now, your home app on your iPhone is working. Now, if for some reason it's still not working, the next thing you wanna do is force quit the app and relaunch it. So in order to close it out, you're gonna swipe up and then find the home app on the list here and then swipe it up to close it out. Generally, I like to close out all the apps and then try to reopen it and hopefully now it's working for you properly. Now after you have done that and it's still not working, it's time to see if there's an update available for the home app itself. And in order to do that, you're gonna locate the App Store app and then you're gonna search here for home. And once you search for the home app, it should be the very top, one of the very first app. And if there is a button that says update, you wanna click on that update. This one, it says open because it's already up to date so we don't have to uh, do any update but in a scenario which i'll show you here on an app that needs updated it will have that update button but if you have the open button that means it's already up to date and you can move on to the next troubleshooting steps which is going to be deleting and reinstalling the home app so in order to do that you're going to press and release uh just like that press and then it will come up with the option to remove app you're going to want to delete the app and then click on delete here and once you have deleted it we're going to go back to the app store here search again for the home app just like that and on the very top here it should have it again the home app and click on the cloud with the down arrow and it should install pretty quick and then once it's installed here we're going to go back to exit out of the app store go back to our phone here all the way to the app library and under recently added we see that the home app was added so we'll press and hold here add it to home screen now it's here and then you can pretty much present it position it to the place that it was originally so I'll press and hold and then you can edit or move it around to the desired location and after that hopefully once you open up home app and all the functionality you're looking for it is working for you now if it's still not working, the next thing you wanna go ahead and do is go to your setting of your iPhone. So open up settings, and then you go to general here, go all the way down here where it says transfer reset iPhone, click on that, and then option for reset. Now you'll get a menu just like that. In this menu here, we're gonna do the very first option which reset all settings. Now this reset all settings or reset settings like your network related settings. So if you have saved Wi-Fi or Bluetooth connected devices will get reset. Any custom home uh, keyboard dictionary, any custom home screen layout will get reset and any settings around location and privacy setting. Now this only resets all this, those settings themselves. It does not delete any of your personal data. So your photos, videos, apps will not be deleted. And this will take about a minute or two to do, but important step to do if your home app isn't working. Now finally, if not, none of these have worked so far, the last thing you can do here on your phone is 
updating your phone so in order to update your phone open up settings go to general and then software update and as you can see here if there's a software update available it will come up here which says download and install you're going to want to click on download and install make sure you have a good strong cellular data or wi-fi connection and your phone is at least 50 percent or more charged and you're going to click on and download and install give yourself about half an hour to 45 minutes generally takes a little bit of time when you're doing any sort of software update and hopefully after doing the software update the home app is working properly and everything is good for you and i hope this video was helpful in resolving any issues you might be having with the home app if so please make sure to like and subscribe button thanks for watching guys see you guys next time